Ever wondered why your favorite baller got snubbed from the All-Star game, even though they were dropping buckets like rain? Or maybe you're still scratching your head over a draft pick that makes less sense than a blindfolded air guitar solo. We've all been there, trust me. Well, NBA fam, buckle up because today we're diving headfirst into the hilarious, head-scratching world of NBA mistakes. We're talking All-Star snubs, players so good they got left out in the cold, and draft blunders that'll make you wonder what the heck the scouts were thinking. This is gonna be a wild ride, filled with epic fails, surprising upsets, and enough laughs to make even Shaq crack a smile. So smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and let's get ready to relive some of the NBA's biggest oops moments. First, let's have a case of serious all-star snubbery. In the early 1990s, Reggie Miller, the Indiana Pacers sharpshooting legend, was averaging a whopping over 20 points per game. That's right, night after night he was putting on a scoring clinic. But here's the kicker. Despite his incredible performance, Reggie kept getting passed over for the All-Star game. The Eastern Conference back then was absolutely stacked with talent. You had Michael Jordan leading the pack, a force of nature on the court. Then there was Isaiah Thomas, a wizard with the ball, seemingly always finding open teammates. It was a murderer's row of superstars, making it incredibly tough for even a scorer like Reggie to break into the All-Star lineup. So year after year, Reggie's All-Star dreams were put on hold, despite his impressive stats. Remember the early 2000s? That's when Vince Carter, nicknamed Vinsanity for his insane dunks, was electrifying the NBA for the Toronto Raptors. We're talking mind-blowing windmill jams, alley-oops that defied gravity. The highlight reel was his permanent residence. But here's the thing. Back then, the Eastern Conference was overflowing with incredible guards. Think Jason Kidd dishing no-look passes or Allen Iverson breaking ankles with his crossover. It was a guard party, and unfortunately, for all of Vince's rim-rattling dunks, the East just had a different focus that kept him out of the All-Star game. So despite being a walking highlight reel, Vince had to watch the All-Star festivities from the sidelines, much to the disappointment of all the Canadian fans bundled up in the cold. Now, let's rewind to 2018. Miami's scorching hot, the beaches are slammed, and on the court, something special is brewing. Goran Dragic, the Miami Heat's point guard, is on a tear. He's lighting it up offensively, earning the nickname The Dragon for averaging a career-high 17 points a game. Night after night, he's dishing out assists, draining threes from downtown, and leading the Heat straight for the playoffs. Fans are going wild, the whole city's hyped, and Dragic looks unstoppable. But here's the thing, the Eastern Conference is no joke. It's like a video game on the hardest difficulty. You got Kyrie Irving, a magician with the ball, who could make defenders dizzy with his moves. And John Wall, a blur on the court with his speed, leaving opponents in the dust. These guys were basically guaranteed all-star sports. So even though Dragic was balling out all season, the competition in the East was just too crazy. His all-star dreams unfortunately got shut down by the insane level of talent. Kinda like building an awesome sandcastle on Miami Beach, only to have it washed away by a giant wave. Did Dragic deserve a shot at the all-star game? Let us know in the comments. Alright NBA fam, let's talk about Donovan Mitchell in 2020. Dude was on fire for the Utah Jazz, dropping over 20 points a game on average. That's like raining buckets every night. He even led the Jazz to a top seed in the West, no joke. Basically, Spida, that's his nickname by the way, was balling out. But here's the thing, the guard competition that year was bananas. We're talking James Harden with his unstoppable step-back threes, Damian Lillard draining shots from half-court like it's nothing, and Luka Doncic, a young superstar, already playing like an MVP. The West was stacked with guard talent that year. So even though Donovan Mitchell was lighting it up for the Jazz, the competition for All-Star Sports was just too fierce. It's like showing up in a dunk contest with a killer dunk, only to find out everyone else is doing windmills and between the legs jams. Talk about tough competition. Bucks fans, rewind to 2022. Remember Chris Middleton? The guy who was basically Giannis' right-hand man on the court. Like a smoother, more three-point happy Robin to Batman? This dude was a baller on both sides of the court, averaging over 20 points a game on offense and shutting down opponents on defense. Middleton was putting in work, no question. But here's the rub. The Eastern Conference that year was a forward's paradise. It was like walking into a video game with the difficulty cranked to impossible. You had Kevin Durant, a walking bucket factory who could drain threes from Pluto, and then there was Jason Tatum, 
this young stud who could go off for 40 points in a single quarter. The competition was insane. So even though Chris Middleton was playing like a champ for the Bucks, the East was just overflowing with amazing forwards. It's like being the best chef in your neighborhood, only to find out everyone else cooking is a Michelin-starred master. Brutal! Did Middleton deserve a shot at the All-Star game that year? Share your thoughts in the comments. Speaking of missed opportunities, let's shift gears and talk about draft blunders. These are the moments where teams might as well have drafted a bag of stale popcorn instead of a future superstar. Let's revisit one of the biggest draft mistakes ever. In 1998, the Seattle Supersonics, now the Oklahoma City Thunder, had the number one pick in the draft. This was a golden opportunity to grab a future superstar and change the course of their franchise. On the board were two young, exciting prospects, Kobe Bryant, a high school phenom with a killer work ethic, and Michael Olawakandi, a talented center from the University of Pacific. Now, Kobe Bryant wasn't your typical high school player. This kid had the skills, the confidence, and the hunger to become a legend. Scouts were buzzing about his potential. Michael Olawakandi, on the other hand, was a skilled big man with a lot of potential, but some questioned his motor and overall upside. In a decision that still haunts Sonics fans to this day, the team went with a safer pick, Michael Olawakandi. While Olawakandi wasn't a total bust, his career never lived up to the hype. He averaged a respectable 8 points and 8 rebounds per game, but never became the dominant force the Sonics were hoping for. Meanwhile, Kobe Bryant, well, he went on to become a global icon, a five-time NBA champion, and one of the greatest basketball players of all time. This draft pick will forever be a what-if moment for the Sonics, a constant reminder of the superstar they let slip through their fingers. All right, Timberwolves fans, we're reaching deep into the vault of draft day nightmares today. Let's talk about 2003, a year that promised greatness but delivered a major woof. Buckle up because this one hurts. The Timberwolves had the number two pick in the draft, a golden opportunity to snag a future franchise cornerstone. The draft class of 2003 was stacked, overflowing with young talent. We're talking about LeBron James, a high school phenom with a skill set that looked like something straight out of a video game. Carmelo Anthony, a college superstar from Syracuse, was a walking bucket machine with a smooth stroke. The decision for the Timberwolves seemed easy, right? Grab LeBron or Melo, a future all-star guaranteed. But in a move that still leaves fans scratching their heads, Minnesota went with Draco Milicic, a talented young center from Europe. Draco had a lot of potential, but there were questions about his rawness and overall fit with the team. LeBron James, of course, went on to become King James, a four-time NBA champion and arguably the greatest player of his generation. Carmelo Anthony became a scoring machine, a 10-time All-Star with a legendary clutch gene. Meanwhile, Draco Milicic's career fizzled faster than a stale firework. He never developed into the dominant force the Timberwolves envisioned. His NBA highlight reel, unfortunately, is more like a blank screen a constant reminder of what could have been for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now we're about to revisit a draft day decision that still sends shivers down your spines. In 1984, the NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers had the number one pick, a golden opportunity to grab players who could change their franchise forever. This draft class was loaded with talent, but two names dominated the conversation. Michael Jordan, a high-flying guard from North Carolina, with a relentless work ethic, and Sam Bowie, a seven-foot center from Kentucky with a smooth shooting stroke. Michael Jordan wasn't just any college player. He was a scoring machine with hops that defied gravity, already captivating fans with his electrifying dunks. Scouts raved about his competitive spirit and his drive to be the best. Sam Bowie, on the other hand, was a skilled big man with a developing offensive game. However, some scouts worried about a history of injuries that could limit his potential. In a decision that continues to haunt the Cavaliers organization, the team opted for the safer pick, Sam Bowie. While Bowie wasn't a complete bust, his career was riddled with leg injuries. He never lived up to the immense potential he possessed, averaging a mere 8 points and 6 rebounds per game. Meanwhile, Michael Jordan, well, he went on to become a global icon, a six-time NBA champion and arguably the greatest basketball player of all time. This draft pick will forever be a what-if moment for the Cavaliers, a constant reminder of the superstar they passed on. Let's head back to 2002 NBA fam. The Houston Rockets hold the number one pick in the draft, a chance to grab a future franchise cornerstone. This year's draft class was buzzing with talent, but two names stood out, Yao Ming, a towering 7'6 center from China, and Paul Gasol, a skilled big man with a European flair from Spain. Yao Ming was a force to be reckoned with, 
He dominated the Chinese Basketball Association, showcasing incredible size, strength, and a developing post-game. His arrival in the NBA promised a new era of center dominance. Pau Gasol, on the other hand, was a different kind of big man. He was a smooth operator with a surprising range for his size, capable of stepping outside the paint and draining jumpers. The Rockets looking for a paint presence to build around ultimately chose Yao Ming. He became a dominant force in the NBA, averaging over 20 points and 9 rebounds per game during his career. Yao Ming led the Rockets to several playoff appearances, captivating fans worldwide with his size and skill. But here's the twist. Pau Gasol, who went third overall to the Memphis Grizzlies, eventually landed with the Los Angeles Lakers alongside Kobe Bryant. Together, they formed a legendary duo, winning two NBA championships and completely changing the landscape of the league. This draft pick decision by the Rockets is one of the biggest what-ifs in NBA history. Would Yao Ming have brought a championship to Houston? Could Pau Gasol have thrived alongside a different superstar? These questions will forever linger, a constant reminder of the potential that could have been for both players and teams. Kings fans, gather around for a story that'll make you want to rewind time and change history. We're heading back to 2014, a draft year filled with potential. The Kings hold the 8th pick, a golden ticket to snag a future star, and rewrite their franchise narrative. But here's the thing, this draft night went from promising to oh no in the blink of an eye. On the board were two intriguing prospects. Nicholas Stauskas, a smooth shooting guard from Michigan, looked like a surefire scorer with a silky jumper. Giannis Atentokompo, a lanky teenager from Greece with a name most fans couldn't pronounce yet, was a bit of a mystery. This kid had unbelievable size and could move like a gazelle on roller skates, but his overall game was still wrong. In a decision that still makes analysts scratch their heads, the Kings went with the seemingly safer pick, Nicholas Strauskas. Hey, can't blame them for wanting a guy who could hit threes consistently, right? Well, Strauskas wasn't a total bust, but his NBA career never quite got off the ground. We're talking a career average of 4 points per game. Oof. But Giannis Atentokompo, yeah, about that. The Greek freak nickname turned out to be prophetic. This lanky teenager blossomed into a generational talent, an MVP caliber monster with a skill set that defies definition. Giannis is now a global icon, leading the Milwaukee Bucks to a championship and becoming one of the faces of the NBA. The draft pick will forever be a major what if for Kings fans. Could they have predicted Giannis' potential? Would he have become the same unstoppable force in Sacramento? We'll never know. But one thing's for sure, this draft night is a constant reminder of how a single decision can alter the course of an NBA franchise. So Kings fans, what do you say? Time machine anyone? Sixers fans, it's your turn. Let's revisit a draft night that still stings. In 2015, the year of potential and promise, the Philadelphia 76ers have the number three pick, a golden opportunity to grab a future franchise cornerstone. This draft class was stacked with young talent, but two names dominated the conversation. Jahil Okafor, a college superstar from Duke, known for his back-to-the-basket scoring, and Kristaps Porzingis, a lanky Latvian unicorn with a developing skill set. Okafor was a polished scorer, a low-post beast with a knack for putting the ball in the basket. The Sixers envisioned him as their anchor in the paint, a dominant force for years to come. Porzingis, on the other hand, was a bit of a gamble. He had incredible size and shooting potential, but his overall game was still raw. In a decision that continues to haunt the Sixers organization, they opted for the sure thing, Jahil Okafor. While Okafor wasn't a complete bust, his career was riddled with injuries and a lack of range. He struggled to adapt to the modern NBA, averaging a respectable 12 points per game, but never reaching his full potential. Meanwhile, Kristaps Porzingis, the unicorn, blossomed into a unique talent. He developed a lights-out three-point shot to complement his size and rim protection abilities. Porzingis became a key piece for the New York Knicks, a scoring threat and defensive presence. This draft pick became a double whammy for Philly. Not only did Okafor not live up to expectations, but their rivals, the Knicks, ended up with a future star. This draft night will forever be a reminder for the Sixers for the importance of taking a chance on potential, especially when the talent is as unique as Kristaps Porzingis. Look, even the best teams make mistakes, but that's what makes the NBA so fun. It's a league full of surprises, upsets, and yes, even some epic blunders. These moments become part of the NBA's crazy tapestry, reminding us that even the best players and teams can have their oops moments. So what are your favorite all-star snubs and draft blunders? 
Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe for more NBA content that's guaranteed to be more entertaining than watching paint dry. Unless it's LeBron's pregame chalk toss. That's mesmerizing.